Hello YouTube, I fix it all here, Team I fix it all. I thought I would do one more um, recap on this uh, wood burner we have to show the benefits. Um, this is a unique feature that this water, wood burner has that I think everybody should be aware of. So pass the word. You can see my temperature is up, but I only have coals in it right now. In a normal wood burner, you have to wait for the coals to go down to a certain amount before you can shovel them out. And then um, maybe if you're lucky, you can leave a few coals behind to start up a, another fire. But I thought you would see how the cleaning out goes on with this wood burner. All right, it has to do with a, uh, a drawer in the bottom and then also a plug you lift in the top. And really how convenient everything is because you don't really have to get rid of your coals. Watch this. I'll open up the door and there's my coals. I'll get some ash out of the way in the rear of the wood burner. do is push these red embers back there. Break those back. As many as I want. The rest of those guys are a bunch of little guys. Next, I feel around in here until I find a little hook or a, 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 an eyelet, an eyelet. And there's the plug right there. Set that down on my um, stone work just to the side of the wood stove. What I did was I left a big square plug out and it exposes a hole that goes down to this drawer right here. You can see that some of the coals already fell in. I'll rake those coals out the opening they'll land right in that drawer still got heat going in other words the temperature is still up inside the firebox here Not disturbing too much although the door is wide open Takes a little bit to figure out what your raking technique is. What your objective is, is to get as much of the ash out of the front three quarters of this floor as possible. So that you can push everything down into the opening that lands in that drawer. Now I'm going to pull my coal, uh, shoot, no I'm not. Now I'm going to put my plug back. And the plug has a lot of ash on top of it. You set it back in the hole. Tap it down a little bit and then there's a lot of ash that you can basically seal, use to seal up that little tiny paper thin opening around it. Now I'm going to pull some coals back forward again. Get them dressed in.
And at this point, this is where I would have uh, my, from out in the garage, I would have my uh, ash bucket with me. I would steal a couple of, um, I would steal a couple of big cinders to take out to the garage to start my wood fire out there. So now that I'm ready, I've got everything piled up. This is ready for new wood. And this is the drawer that has all the ash in it. And what happens is this just sits there and it cools down. And there's a minor chamber in there that allows that, allows that the drawer, that, the uh, embers in the drawer, to sneak around and go up the flue up into that world. So right now I'm ready for new wood. Close my door. Zoom, unzoom a little bit. And then I turn my fan on. Sends air around the back and out through the house. All right, guys. See ya.